Hello, my name is Linda Lacey, and I'm Dean of the Graduate School at New Mexico State University. Today we're going to talk about how to apply to grad school. Part A is how to prepare a general application for graduate education. Part B will focus on preparing a PhD application. Let's take a journey. Close your eyes. It's the morning of June 15, 2020. You just got up to go to work. What type of clothes did you put on? Where do you live? Where do you go to work? What type of job do you have? These are all the things you need to think about in preparing an application for grad school. How to apply to grad school. We have four objectives of Part A. We want to help you select a program of study based on your career objectives. We want to help you match your interest to that of possible universities. And we want to help you determine if you're ready for grad school now. Some of you may decide to wait two or three years before going to grad school. And then if you are ready for grad education right now, we want to help you develop a strong application. Now, what should I consider before applying to grad school? I had you go to 2020 and think about what you were doing at that point in time. So going to grad school is going to depend upon your career goals and objectives, how competitive you are to get into the program of study that you're interested in, and your ability to finance your education. Well, many of you are watching this because you've decided to go to grad school. Some of you are saying, well, can I really compete? Can I really get into grad school? So what if your grades are less than a B average? You have a lot of options with just about all institutions. At New Mexico State University, you need at least a 3.0 GPA to get into grad school, and that's minimum. We look at that overall in terms of all the years it took you to complete your undergraduate degree or in your last two years. Most institutions are going to have something called a provisional status, where they will admit students at least for one semester with a 2.5 or a C-plus GPA. Then you also can, if your grades are really low, you may want to apply as a non-degree or undeclared student. Use that as an opportunity to build your GPA up. At New Mexico State University, you can transfer up to nine graduate credits into a degree program if you decide to take a few classes to build your GPA. So you're wondering how you select a university. First of all, you're going to need to think about how many universities you need to apply to. But you're also going to have to look into the publications and funded research of faculty. You're going, well, why is that important? Here at New Mexico State, we have about 1,000 graduate assistantships. 500 are teaching assistantships, and 500 are research assistantships. Faculty are the major employers of students. You also want to look into the quality of the libraries, computer labs, and research equipment. If you're thinking about going into an engineering program, you really want to look at the types of research equipment that they have, how modern they are, and how well that equipment is going to help you to complete your degree program and get jobs at places like Intel. You also want to look at the placement of graduate students. You know, should I go to an, a brand new program that's just getting off the ground or an old program? The older the degree program, the more alumni they're going to have, and the alumni are those who are going to help you get an internship for the summer or a permanent position once you finish the program. You also want to look at course offerings in your areas of interest. The World Wide Web is a valuable resource that can help you look at alternative institutions. You also want to select universities with faculty that have similar interests to yours. Look at the faculty's research, look at the types of classes they're teaching. Accreditation. You want to select a program that is accredited. Many agencies, public schools, will not hire you unless you come from an accredited program. Look into the research and professional opportunities, particular internship opportunities that would be available in the program. Diversity of student body. You want to have a mixture of national, regional, and international students. We are living in a global economy. International students let you learn about their cultures as well as about their economies. Then you also want to look at your GPA. You have to look at your ability to gain acceptance into that program. Location of institution. Do you want to be in a warm environment? Can you go into a cold environment? Do you want to be in a city? Do you want to be in a rural area? Do you have to be in your family? You're going to have to think about the location of the institution and whether or not you're willing to move to that particular place. How many schools should I apply to? depends upon the competitiveness of the program and the strength of your application. There are three questions you want to 
ask each institution before you apply, what percent of applicants are accepted? What is the average GPA? What is the average GRE score? These are three important questions that are going to help you understand whether or not you can compete to get into that program. You need to collect a lot of information before you apply to a given program. You need to know the deadline for your application and make sure that you have your application way before the deadline hits. You want to find out the criteria that's going to be used for admissions, for the institution, but also for the specific program of study. For some universities, they're going to require a program statement. For others, they're going to require supplemental information. You also want to find out deadlines when financial aid is awarded. I'm talking about fellowships and graduate assistantships. You want to make sure that your application is at that institution before they make any types of financial decisions so that you have an opportunity to finance your graduate education. So how do I submit a successful application? First of all, you're going to need strong letters of recommendation. I want you to make an appointment for face-to-face -face interaction with your faculty and employers and say, can you write me a strong letter of recommendation? Provide them with a copy of your resume, transcripts, papers you've written for them. Tell them why you want to go to grad school. You know, spend about an hour with them so that they can get a feel of who you are and what your career objectives are and why you want to go to that particular institution. Second. For some institutions, you're going to have to develop a detailed statement of purpose. For each institution, you want to write a separate statement of purpose. You want to talk about why you want to go to their specific institution and their specific program. You want to do name drops. You want to talk about the faculty that are teaching there, the research that they're engaged in, the types of classes that they teach in. Then you want to talk about how your areas of interest match those of the program. And last, talk about your career objectives. Ensure that your transcripts arrive on time, complete your application, and make sure that you do well in your GRE scores or other standardized test scores if it's required by that given program. So how do I finance my education? If you're in a master's degree program, you're looking at two to three years of support. If you're in a PhD program, you're looking at four to six years of support. So as soon as you've been admitted into a program, you want to ask for fellowships and or teaching and research assistantships. You also want to look for external sources of support, such as fastweb.com. You may want to talk to the financial advisor on the campus where you've been admitted to. And please check out our videos on how to finance grad education. Thank you for staying with us for part one, where we talked about how to develop an application for grad school. In part two, we're going to talk about how to develop an application for a PhD program.